the migration phenomenon is quite huge here in uh, Kenya. There are many people moving from the rural areas to the urban areas. And a lot of these people are young. And why are they moving? They are looking for better employment and education opportunities. But we forget that as more people move from the rural areas, we are putting more pressure in the urban areas. So that's why we see that there's a lot of informal settlements that are coming up. But also we have a rather large informal economy, meaning that they're not going to access the decent jobs. So they access more precarious jobs. And that's why we're saying that through this project, we are trying to address the adverse drivers of migration through local value chain development. That means how can we provide better and more improved uh, employment opportunities and entrepreneurship opportunities in the rural areas through agribusiness. Kiambu is a hotbed for migration because first of all the proximity to Nairobi, that is the capital city where people perceive that there are many job opportunities. Yeah? But then we also have to encourage them to stay within the rural areas because Kenyanese farmers are the, at the end of the day. The, 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 the farmers that we have are quite aging and we need a future bunch that can be able to carry on the agriculture to feed this nation. The youth believe that maybe farming is not for them. This is what they have seen their parents doing from time memorial and they want to do something different. Agriculture has been linked to, to poverty and uh, um, business for the people who have not gone to school. Eh? But then you'd see that our, our youth are quite educated and they want the, the, what they call the indecent jobs because to them farming is not a job. So they are going to the capital to look for employment. So what we are doing in this project is we are trying to, to help the youth they play their role in the angry business so that we can create opportunities for them. First of all is to train them, eh, to empower them to see that in agriculture also there is that uh, the business. Eh? They can still make a lot of money through the, the agribusiness. They don't have to go to towns to look for jobs that are not there in the first place. What we have seen is that agriculture was considered not cool or fashionable. That is what the mindset has always been. But we are seeing a new crop of youth who are taking up agriculture. Those who have known what the secret is. Many of them who are graduates, who have gone to schools, gotten their, their degrees, and having seen the benefits that can come out of it. And not only agriculture, but we're talking about agribusiness, bringing in the business perspective into agriculture. Uh, these are the mothers. These are my seeds. First of all, I'm going to breed them. It's four months old now. Okay. You're doing well. Okay. At the end, if I have a, a hundred plus others, then I start marketing them. One of the beneficiaries we support is Ruth, a unique young lady who studied uh, for a job in the hotel industry, but following uh, three years in the industry, uh, she decided to resign from her job and get into agribusiness. She is currently uh, undertaking a poultry project, uh, which she got support from the FAO and the county government. And uh, this is a lady who is quite ambitious. She sees herself as the next millionaire, having a whole range uh, of chicken and being able to supply the major hotels and supermarkets uh, in Kenya. So for me, that is a story that has stood out. Uh, a young person who could easily have worked in a white collar job, but has opted or her choice of work or business is in the agriculture sector. There's no need of going to other countries. We have seen some youth going to even to Dubai, catch out, look for jobs. Then they come back frustrated. At the end, they are like, oh, I wish I stayed in my country. This is our home. God loves Kenya. We can do it. The market is with us. Wake up and go for it. Whatever is in your mind, you perceive it. And later on, you receive it. Rural to urban migration is very common, especially with the youth. That is because of lack of employment, but right now I've come to learn that agriculture has the potential to create uh, many jobs. Because currently in Africa, we still have an opportunity to come up with business, agribusinesses, uh, which can sustain our economy. 
and improve our livelihood. As a county, we have been trying to make angry business cool so that we can attract more youth. And one of the things that we are doing is to introduce technology. And when we bring technologies within the sector, like the, um, the mechanization part, like the value addition, then they are now interested and then they can be able to come in. And again, now we are also trying to change the mindset that they don't have to be farmers. Eh? They can be transporters, they can get into the value addition, they can be the marketers, they can be the, the input suppliers. You know, we, we see a, a change, a change of perception, and we see now the youth, the, the young people are, they are really prone to be farmers. Yeah, especially now that they realize in Kiambu County there's so much opportunities for us being close to Nairobi. There's a lot of market and the other opportunities that are coming in. Now the youth are, are more outgoing. They are now going back to the farm to make the money. The girl, the papas, you know, that's why you find me having these kids, feeding them like my babies. You know, you must love whatever you are doing. Once you change the mindset and, and you know you love whatever you are doing, you achieve a lot. Having visited our youth over the past few days, I would say we have a changed lot. A few years back, even when we were starting this project in itself, many of them were quite skeptical. But having gone through the trainings, having been supported to uh, to have linkages with the market and even to access uh, finance, we are seeing them open up their eyes and their minds to the opportunities that are out there. But one thing that we have really seen uh, stand out uh, for us is that uh, many of these youth are people who've gone to school, who could easily have gone to look for a white collar job. And many who have wanted to migrate to the urban areas and also internationally to look for some of these uh, employment and education opportunities. But many of them have uh, chosen to stay back home in the rural economy and see how they can build their agribusinesses. And the key message that I pass out to youth when we are out there is that it does not only have to be production. There are very many opportunities that are in the agriculture sector and in agribusiness. Because uh, the future is theirs. We are the future leaders. We are the zero hunger generation. And of course, uh, we have uh, our population gradually increasing uh, over the next few years with the food demands also growing. Therefore, it is important that a youth are brought uh, on board and engaged in the sector to be able to produce for future generations.